Oh. oh. Multiple witnesses. Witnesses, kindly state your names and occupations for the court. Sir, the great Nippon Imperial Army Sergeant. E your oh. mouse is covering his name. Yes or no, sir. Like, yes or no, sir. Oh, that's yes fucking or good. no, sir. That's very good. That's great. Reporting for duty, sir. <laughs> Somebody in the chat said Waluigi. <laughs> it's not Waluigi. <laughs> Myself, I find employers a purveyor of fine articles of antiquity from the efflorescence of our nation, Nippon. For glorious Nippon, <laughs> and conduct my trade from Rasute, a humble premises in the second district. Curio corrector at your service. Curio. The curio, like curio. Yeah. Korakuta. Kork. I don't. I don't get the second name. Oh, it's like Curi Curio Collector. Correct. That uh, yeah. makes sense because of the the L R thing. That's racist game. <laughs> Shut up. An antique dealer and a soldier. What an unusual pairing. Both of these gentlemen were present at the restaurant on the day in question. They must be the diners at the other table that the waiter mentioned. Myself, I habitually take tea of the most exquisite aroma at the establishment in question, always post-noon. <laughs> and not infrequently converse with the interested parties regarding the curios with which I make my business. I can't understand a word that man is saying. He's an antique dealer, and it sounds like he's a regular at La Carnival. Applebee's. <laughs> he seeks out potential customers who may have an interest in antiques and tries to sell his wares to them. Otherwise, otherwise known as really fucking annoying. <laughs> he obviously targets La Carnival because it's a high-class restaurant. Because it's a high-class restaurant with rich clientele. Oh, right. I see. Although... To be honest, that sergeant looks like he looks more like he'd be a seller rather than a buyer. What does that mean? Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> now, you both witnessed the precise moment of this most atrocious incident. Is that correct? Affirmative. <laughs> The enemy unit was seen attacking the foreigner in what can only be described as an act of war, sir. That's great. It was that black uniformed rogue infantryman over there who unloaded his firearm, sir. This man's as impossible to understand as the other. <clears throat> but I'm almost sure I heard a strange noise during that last thing he said. I did hear that too. Okay, oh. it wasn't it was intentional, okay. So, this is the decisive evidence the prosecution was threatening. The soldier is claiming that he actually saw the precise moment you shot the victim dead. Yes. Well, are you starting to feel uncomfortable? Dude, have you seen my eyes this whole time? If I'm being honest, <laughs> I was feeling uncomfortable from the start. Now, the court will hear from your formal testimony, please. You will state everything you saw at the precise moment that the incident occurred. Ah, oh, yes, sir. Standing by, ready to report, sir. Hmm, unsavory memories of a most acerbic afternoon. Also, this guy's eyes are excellent. I do love them. <laughs> Also, the fact that his earlobes jiggle as he shakes is so great. I was ingesting a regulation beef steak at the restaurant while having a tactical discussion with the old man. 
Myself, I was extolling the virtues of a particularly fine golden courier to the military gentleman. At that precise moment, a firearm was discharged. I observed the enemy's actions with my own eyes. Y'all heard that sound, right? I heard it that uh, time. Well, what the that fuck was that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really hope that Cannon, he's going, I heard the firearm, bang. <laughs> <laughs> a black uniformed varsity cadet fired on the English civilian, and from the back, the cowardly little weasel. Well, that's already oh, a And lie. from the back, the cowardly little weasel. Mm -hmm. I was on my hands and knees, investigating the whereabouts of my mysteriously absconded precious curio. Well, so you, Sergeant Nosa, actually witnessed the vital moment. You saw the split second when the defendant fired the weapon at the victim. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. That wicked... <laughs> I can't... That's so funny, that sound of... Wait, what the fuck is he doing with a knife? What the fuck? And let me see what you have. I'm going. No! Oh my God. What the fuck? That was... That was fucking hilarious because I genuinely, I genuinely was like, "Oh shit, is this a fucking plot point?" Where he's about to <laughs> he's stab gonna stab the, the guy. Back? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. That wicked university cadet, sir. The cruel and unforgivable enemy. What times we live in, when an English gentleman may be assailed in the broad light of day. Yeah, <laughs> I But, but this is ridiculous. I, I didn't shoot anyone. Is that really true, Rianoske? No, it was me. I'm starting Damn to it. doubt you. <laughs> yes, all I did was pick up the gun that I saw lying on the floor. Uh huh. And then shoot him. Damn it! After I'd said hello to Doctor Wilson, I went back to my table and sat drinking some coffee. That's how you know I'm not. <laughs> Why was he drinking coffee? Then, when I'd finished, I got up from my seat to leave the restaurant. When I noticed an English-made gun next to the chair where the professor was sitting. And I thought, cool, free gun. I thought per perhaps the professor had dropped it. So I bent down, and just as I was picking it up, it fired. <laughs> Wait. Well, if that's the truth, there was obviously a criminal on the scene somewhere. Okay, so he happened to be holding a gun the moment that somebody else shot him? Listen, Ryan, I, not uh -huh. even I believe you now. Fuck off, Ryan. <laughs> and somewhere in these two witnesses' testimonies, there's a clue as to who that criminal was. There is. Ryanosuke, you must exercise your right to cross-examine the witnesses cross-examine oh my god have you not played a phoenix wright game before <laughs> but now as we have heard your excellency there is no room for doubt in the testimony of these witnesses the defendant is clearly guilty it is time to bring this despicable student to justice certainly the testimony the court has just heard eliminates any vestige of doubt. Therefore, it is my grave duty to yes. declare the verdict. Yes, yes, I did I'm it. Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I do. What in the name of the emperor is the meaning of this outburst? I am. Um, um, I mean, the defence demands the right to cross-examination. Dear me, dear me. Let me guess. The the Hachimaki headband boy next to me, to, next door, told me to do it. He's How pathetic. He's more than the, than just the boy next door. A Hachimaki headband boy next door. It's like a it's a really long band name, but I can kind of dig it. Uh huh. Huh? How did he know? How does he know that he gives off real boy-next-door energy? <laughs> the prosecution objects. 
This is a clear waste of time. The defendant obviously has no experience. How can he possibly carry out a cross-examination? The defense is asserting its right to cross-examination. Whether or not you think he's capable of it is irrelevant. <laughs> Kazuma is so... Kazuma is so commanding. Oh my god. Very well. Let the defense conduct a cross-examination of the witnesses. Alright. This is where the battle really begins, Rinosuke. But I don't even know what I have to do in a cross-examination. Isn't it obvious? You have to expose the lies and the witnesses' statements. They were lying? Oh, no, he didn't say that. How? You didn't fire the gun, which means what, the, what that soldier said has to be a lie. Well, yes, but... It's just a case of proving it, and the key to doing that is evidence. Right. Evidence. All you need to do is present some decisive and indisputable evidence that proves the witness is lying. You brought that, right? Oh, fuck. <laughs> now, let's go, Ryanosuke. Don't let them beat you. <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible. Oh, oh, I'm obsessed with that. That's such That's a great fucking... bit. He slams so hard and it uh, went. He uh, hasn't learned how to slap yet. That's what they what teach you in school. Prince, did you learn that in lawyer school? In law school, slap, as it's called? How to slap the Des. Yeah. <laughs> all right, then. It's all or nothing. Uh, all right, so it was when uh, him me him saying that I shot him in the front or in the back yeah. is the bullshit uh, um, Pardon the Englishman and from the back present The picture he was shot in the front of the chest Yes. Okay, the fact that they don't give me an objection yet is kind of annoying I just say yes Mm-hmm. I really hope that they are like, why did you just say yes? I think that's what they're doing. What what are you playing, F Cadet? What is the meaning of this subordination? Thrusting some photographic print in my mustache? <laughs> in Inconsistency, sir. I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's never gonna get old. Him looking at me like, shit, I didn't hit, fuck. It's like, God damn it, I fucked it up again. There's a clear inconsistency here. <laughs> what nonsense. What can this print possibly tell us that we don't already know? Well... Obviously, that, um, I know what I want to say, but the words just won't come out of my mouth. I think this proves beyond any doubt, Your Excellency, that there is no place for an amateur student here in this grand courtroom. Hmm. We get the uh, first hmm. Encounter, here we go. This is so frustrating. Ryan, oh, see how it's done. Step aside, kid. It's a real man smacks a desk. <laughs> <laughs> Surely this doesn't require an explanation. It couldn't be more plain. To spell it out would be an insult to the court. Mm. Fuck. Kazuma, what? What are you talking about? Mm, good music. This is a good mm. track. It's apparent from a single glance at the photographic print presented by the defense that there's a clear discrepancy here. 
with the sergeant's statement. What? Sergeant, yes or no, sir? That's such a good name. <laughs> yes, sir. Up, oh, sir. The statement you just made was this. The black uniformed varsity cadet fired on the English civilian, and from the back, the cowardly little weasel. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. I witnessed the crime with my own military-grade eyes, yes. sir. I had civilian-grade eyes, but I had them replaced with military-grade eyes. <laughs> These but robot no, military eyes. I have laser eyes. vision. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, what did I say? What did it say? But no, that, that, that just can't be. And why not, cadet? Because... 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 <laughs> Take a close look at the print. Look at this print! The victim, Dr. Wilson, died from a bullet wound to the chest. Uh. Sergeant, according to your witness statement, the culprit shot the victim from behind. And that is the obvious discrepancy here. Well... How do you explain it? Oh, sorry, what? Oh, wait. What it's oh. a baby! He's it's got a, a baby! <laughs> I'm sorry! One guy's got a knife, these others got a baby! That man just shoved a baby back there. He got a baby on the back. Just the fact that he literally was like, Get the baby. fuck back there! Mother, that baby behind him. Oh, what? Uh, well, I, uh. What the. What was that? Something just popped up from behind his back, but he pushed it down again. Certainly, there is a clear discrepancy with the facts here. Would you not agree, Sergeant Nosa? Yes, sir. At this juncture, that would appear to be indisputable. <laughs> Until the moment I heard the firearm discharge, my eyes were... Oh, look at that baby. There's a baby. Oh, don't tell me. Firmly, firmly fixed on the delicious La Carnival steak, sir. Oh, steak. What? The last testimony the court heard has proven one thing beyond all reasonable doubt. This witness, Sergeant Yes Sir No Sir, did not see the defendant firing a gun at all. Uh, that's... that's absurd. I think the conclusion we must draw is simple. There is no place for an amateur prosecutor here in this grand courtroom. Ooh. Oh, oh, get dunked on. Damn. Owie. Ouchie. Fuck, man. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Nice, 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 oh, nice. Steve. Oh, what a treatment to get. Baby. <laughs> Just fucking dunk on that guy. Is that what Why the achievement the achievement? says? It's been a complete turnabout. Oh. Uh, uh, the word. He, said the, he word. said the word. And the mood of this trial, just from that one discrepancy. So this is what being an ace attorney is all about. Uh, he said, said the, the other word. They said it all. They said it. And they're like, it's, it, it, I hope that my great great grandchild is named Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Shit. I mean. Wow. We're getting really on the nose with something these, huh? Naruhodo. I can't remember his first name. In well, you know what I mean. But, but I definitely saw him. What is sleeping baby? Oh, you oh, want baby? Are. That university cadet there. He was pointing the firearm directly at the victim's back. Yes. Yes, I was. I was. Yes, I was. But I never fired the gun. All I did was pick it up off the floor. Hmm. And you, old man, you didn't see the moment the victim was shot either. 
myself, I have already been quite clear. The gunshot interested... Get the fuck back there! <laughs> the gunshot interested me not. I was far too busy on the floor. Why the hell are you even here as a witness? <laughs> too, too busy on the floor? What, what, you know, what, what kind of moves were you rocking with? Uh, I was fucking getting down. You crumping? You doing the stanky leg? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what were you doing? Hunting for treasure. <laughs> I'm sorry. Treasure. Whoa! Oh fuck! He got crazy. Indeed, the Holy Era Coban, my prized coin. On each occasion when I visit that restaurant, it is my habit habitude to place in my bosom pockets in my bosom pocket a particular trinket of interest from my shop, Rasute. In the hope of meeting a rich diner who might like to buy it from you. On the day under scrutiny, it was to be it was to the military man that I prof preferred my hoy treasure. Believe that he would believe that he would purchase such a rare find, I did not. Mmm, but I was presented with little alternative. <laughs> and then, after averting oh. my... Ah! <laughs> after averting my eyes for the briefest of moments, it was there no more. It simply vanished. The Coban vanished hunting around under the table I was in case mayhap it had fallen there and then it happened you heard the gunshot you mean indeed I did but I heeded it not for I was concerned only with finding my absconded toy treasure Nothing could distract me. So then why are you a witness again? Out of Sorry, interest. Sad. Did you find the coin in the end? <gasps> no. Oh. Hmm. I see. That lamentable day, the precious Hoi Koban was lost to me. No doubt, some unscrupulous scoundrel pocketed the prize coin for himself. I do love that he's looking over at the sergeant, and the sergeant looked and away. Like... <laughs> That's good. I, hate, oh, so I actually really hate that they jump to the gavel swinging. Mm. It's actually really jarring. Yeah, it's pretty, it's a quick cut. As I am sure everyone present is aware. It's fine. It, the other versions, it's fine because it, it doesn't have motion. It's just the, the block that he hits. Right. But this is like, it's the raise up and the quick slam. Yeah, it's very jarring. This case demands a swift and decisive resolution. Our government has promised to send a full report to Great Britain by telegraph this very afternoon. Nevertheless, the witness testimony the court has just heard was inconclusive. No matter how subservient our government feels, it must be to the British. It would be unforgivable to deliver a verdict on this trial right now. Hmm. What is your position, Prosecutor Archie? <laughs> Were it not, Your Excellency? The defendant may have fled a tiger at the front gate, but he will find a wolf at the back. S sorry, what? You know what they say, tiger in the front, wolf in the back. <laughs> uh, Dark Angel is that, is, that, is, that, is that how you described your haircut, the what you got you wanted, Wes? Oh, oh, God damn it. Get fucking dunked on. <laughs> Uh, Dark Angel Law, Chitter 100 bits saying, have they never updated the sound of the gavel? It's the, still the same as in the first game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. It's very, it's, it's given me, 
Dragon Quest vibes where they like don't Use the change same, the sound effects because yeah. they're they're iconic, mm -hmm. which I'm totally fine with. Mm -hmm. My witnesses have further something. S sorry, uh, court, court record? Nope, wrong thing. History. Uh, testimony to make. Explain. Upon hearing their next statements, I, it will become abundantly clear that there is only one person who could have possibly committed this despicable crime. The equally despicable defendant, Ryorosuke Narahodo. What? He really seems to have a despicable opinion of you, doesn't he? Uh. Very well. The court invites the witnesses to testify again. You will thoroughly explain the reasoning behind the prosecution's allegation. Is that clear? As clear as Kiriko Glass, Your Excellency. Yes, sir. At once, sir. A waiting signal to testify, sir. Um, excuse me, but there's something, or oh, someone, peeking out over your shoulder, I think. Then, the newest member of the Nota family to rise up through the ranks, sir. Name, Ido. Uh, I don't know, sir. Uh, I I don't know, sir. That's good. That's good. Damn, some strong puns right off the gate. Yeah, they're doing good. Shit, fuck. Hmm, uh, it because now it, it counts right clicks as a click. Ah, uh, it's my bad. Huh? It would seem those straps are a sign of the sergeant being too strapped for the nanny. <laughs> I do. Ten shot. <laughs> Your father is about to quell the enemy. Oh, watch and learn, my boy. That's, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's such a good <laughs> animation. Absolutely incredible. Oh, fuck. That's so cute. Look at him. He's having such a good time. Uh -huh. He's just happy to be here. Uh, he is, really. Even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment the firearm was discharged, it's almost the same thing. Yes, uh, pointing his gun at the foreign man, or as one might say, Baka Gaijin, he was that young lad in black. That much I myself did see. Furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were not the only personnel present. Indeed, alone he was, the Englishman, dining all by himself. Therefore, no one other than the black uniformed cadet could have dispatched the Englishman over and out. Aww. <laughs> yeah, Daddy, fucking get this guy killed. Yes! <laughs> Well, sh hmm, shit, I didn't, I didn't do anything. Uh, wait, that, that's nonsense. The victim, Dr. Wilson, wasn't alone at all. Please, enough of these outbursts already. But there was a woman. There was a young woman at his table. You must have seen her. Everyone there must have seen her. Okay. If you call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of the court and speak accordingly. We are not here to listen to your fantasies. Uh. It is evident beyond all reasonable doubt that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. Also, uh, Dark Angel Law cheered 100 bits as the entire ouchie bloodline is a real pain in the ass, aren't they? Oh. Oh. Got him. The prosecution has photographic evidence of this fact. Is this a photographic print of the scene of the crime, counsel? Indeed. Of the table at which the victim was dining, taken by an investigator immediately after the incident. As can plainly be seen, there is only one place set. 
certainly, based on the appearance of this print, it would be reasonable to conclude that the victim was not in the company of anyone else. Uh, this doesn't make any sense. The court will add this new photographic evidence to the record. Okay. I don't understand. What's going on here? It's just not possible that nobody else saw that woman. The waiter before said the same thing. He maintains that Dr. Wilson came to the restaurant alone as well. But that's not true! I, I, I saw her! I swear that I saw a woman with him. It would seem that we'll be able to telegraph the report to Great Britain one on time after all. The witness testimonies we have just heard leave no further room for doubt. These are very sensitive political times, as we all know. The ink is still fresh on the treaty with Great Britain. To think that I, Toketsushi Auchi, will have contributed to the amity of these two great empires is an honor. Uh, how can this be happening? The judge is ready to rule! This judge rules. Stand tall, Ryunosuke. It's not over yet. What? If what you say is true, then there's something going on here behind the scenes. And now is your chance to expose it. To draw out the truth. In your cross-examination. I... I don't know, Kazuma. The defense... Uh, excuse me, I was doing the wrong voice. <laughs> the defense is entitled to cross-examine the witnesses, but make it quick. Understood? <laughs> Rules can be so unbending at times. Uh. Okay. Ooh, cool. Oh, we even have the little little markers in the top now. We didn't have that before, right? No, it was there. Oh, okay. Well, I just missed it. Uh, what's, let's check this new thing we got here. Wait, did we have those? Yeah, they were there. Really? I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember seeing them. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so it's just... Oh, magnify that shit. Magnify that bottle. No, it literally just zooms no, in on that's the picture. My, that's, my that's my favorite vintage. <laughs> a good year. That's a great blend. A good year. Uh, hmm. Bottle of carbonated water and steak lunch can be seen on the victim's table. So that was that was in front of him. Oh, yeah. Now look at that one. Yeah, it looks the same. <clears throat> oh, wait. Uh, I think the glass is empty. Oh. Check the other wait, one. Because I, I think the glass, glass is, is full. Is stuff in it. The, yeah. the, can you actually tell the glass was empty? Is that what you guys were saying? Uh, so this one it's full, or not full, but there is something in it. Uh, this one, yeah, you can see that it's there's nothing. You can't see uh, the my, steak. My so. stream, my stream is super blur. My stream is, uh, yeah, I guess you can tell there's nothing there. Uh, and it looks like the flower, the flower vase is there, but just barely. Is there a placemat beneath the? thing in the other one too uh yes there is there is okay never mind <clears throat> so yeah okay so inconsistency there it doesn't mean anything at the moment but right uh there it is if what i saw wasn't the precise moment of the fire it's almost the same thing pointing his gun to the foreign man he was that young lad in black that much i self did see uh logan donates a dollar saying uh, was the victim eating a Hamburg steak? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Furthermore, a visual search of the premises confirmed that there was only... Th that we were the only personnel present. Indeed, alone he was, dining all by himself. Therefore, no one other than the black uniform cadet could have dispatched the Englishman right. over and We out. gotta start pressing, baby. Yeah. <clears throat> they said the game hasn't even taught us how to press yet. What do you think, Rinosuke? Uh... Um, oh. What's the matter? I 
can't find anything. I can't find a clear discrepancy anywhere. I'm done for. I can't win this trial. No. No, no, no. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> I gotta stop bathing during Ryanosuke shenanigans. <laughs> Listen, the first thing to do is calm down. You can't expect witnesses, witness statements to be full of holes every time. That's why I brought this sword, to <laughs> poke them full of holes. <laughs> so just take your time and try to tease more information out of them first. Okay, you know, on. make them feel good. What do you mean? You can choose to either press or present against each of the witness statements. If a witness is saying something you're suspicious about, press him on it with Q. With a little luck, you may get more details, which could prove to be crucial. Right. I see. The important point is there's no sense in holding back. If anything even slightly jars with you, press the witness on it and press them hard. All right, got it. I'll press them like blocks of tofu. Okay. Nice. Okay. I, like, I like that. Hey, we're in Japan, did you know? <laughs> the professor wasn't alone in the restaurant. I'm sure of it. And one way or another, this cross-examination is going to prove I'm right. It's time to press them for all they're worth. My fate depends on it. Okay. Uh, Do it. Skip Press. this. Pointing his gun. Sure. If they were the only person. I would. I, I would do that one. Yeah. Yes. That's... <clears throat> you must have noticed some someone else at Doctor Wilson's table. There was a lady there. Attention! As you have been at pains to point out time and again, I feel I'm growing a callus in my ear. And yet, no one else appears to have caught even a glimpse of this woman. Uh, if only there'd been more people dining there at the time. Then someone else would have noticed her. Fortunately, it was already past 2 p.m. when it happened. The quiet time between lunch and dinner in any restaurant. I know. Of course, the place was almost empty. Or, it's what you'd expect. Certainly. 2 p.m. is neither here nor there in terms of a time to eat. But it is time for Applebee's happy hour. <laughs> Which I will be partaking in. <laughs> what are you doing in my courtroom? I wonder if there was a reason why the victim was eating all at, was eating at that time of day. And why he was alone. Yes, Your Excellency, there was indeed a reason. There was. This was found in the victim's jacket pocket. What is that, Council? It is a medical report card, Your Excellency. It would seem that the victim had an appointment at a clinic prior to visiting the restaurant. Hmm. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> No! Mm. They Hotel did it? Clint. Yes, I mean, it's hot tub hot tea. Yeah, but they uh. knew what they were doing. Ah, uh. Hota Clinic. Yes, there would indeed appear to be an entry for the date in question. God fucking damn it. 19th November, noon to past 1 p.m. Hmm. The very day of the incident. So, the victim went for a late lunch following his appointment. The explanation couldn't be more simple. The prosecution felt no need to submit this evidence before, as it really has no bearing on the case. I wonder. What do you think, Ryonesuke? Hmm? Well, it's hard to see how it could be related, really. Remember. You can request for it to be entered into the court record as evidence if you think it could be useful. Should I ask for Dr. Wilson's medical report card to be submitted as evidence or not? I mean... Come on. Well, we, it's not our first rodeo with these attorney games. 
<laughs> Again, I can't get over that face. If I may, I'd like to ask that the medical medical report card be submitted as evidence, Your Excellency. On what ground? Um. The court has already heard conclusive witness testimony. Additional evidence would be extraneous. Not to mention that the victim's movements prior to his arrival at the restaurant are of no concern. Objection! Whether or not they are of concern is up to us to decide. We have a right to explore all possible avenues. I, I beg your pardon? You have no authority to refuse a perfectly valid request for, a, for the submission of evidence. Very well. The court will grant the defense's request. <laughs> Youngsters these days are forever asserting their <laughs> right. It's a most disturbing trend. Young people and their rights. Ooh. <laughs> okay, boomer. <laughs> Officer, kindly add the victim's medical report card to the court record. All right. <sighs> what we need right now are new is what we need right now is new clues. We have to explain things from every possible angle, even if they don't seem relevant at first. Right, I hear you. <laughs> you can conspire to prolong this trial as much as you like, but it's the day after the festival already for you. Or perhaps you'd forgotten that these witness testimonies leave no room for doubt. Feel free to reiterate for the accused, Karekutasa. Uh, uh, let's take a look at that report card. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can't even click on it. Uh, what does it say? Just that it was from the Honda Clinic found in his pocket. Okay. Let's <laughs> we... present some more shit. Yeah. Or let's uh, uh, press some more shit. Yeah. Yes! So, you actually saw that with your own eyes, did you? The victim, Dr. Wilson, dining alone. That I did. Uh, forgive me for the position I place you in, but you should burn in hell. <laughs> so, the testimonies of the old man, the soldier, and the waiter all agree on that point. Isn't that interesting? And let us not forget the incontestable evidence we have to support their statements as well. As you as can clearly be seen, there is only a single beef steak on the wit on the victim's table. A meal for one. No. The antique dealer, the sergeant and the waiter who testified before. It's not impossible that they're all lying. But if so. Then why? Easy. Ryan's tweaking out, and he thought he saw a second person. <laughs> but on account of the whole tweaking out thing, he actually didn't. If I'm perfectly honest, I have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Keep going. Might as well press this. Yes. Why aren't you telling the truth? What? What did you say, cadet? I clearly remember. There was a woman sitting across the table from the professor. Perhaps one of you might not have noticed. But for both of you to have failed to see the professor's dining companion, it's just not possible. Unfortunately for you, Defendant Narahodo, it's not just a case of these two witnesses alone. Sorry. The waiter, whose testimony the court heard earlier, clearly stated the same thing. He also said that the victim was alone. Mm. Uh, 
Uh, that's right. <laughs> uh, Nora Bat in the chat says, Wait a minute, why does Sergeant Nosa look like he wants pictures of Spider-Man? <laughs> God damn it. That's really good. Precisely. In other words, you are the sole proponent of this phantom lady. But, but I... If such a woman were indeed present at the scene, the prosecution demands to see proof. And if no such proof exists, the prosecution demands that no further mention of this phantom woman be made. It is a blatant waste of this court's time. There's nothing I can say to that. Excellent work, Leonosuke. We've gleaned some new information now. Have we? Well, yes. I don't feel like it changes much. I can't see that it brings any real discrepancies to light. I wouldn't be so sure. Let me see that medical report card you got before. Are you gonna oh. let us look at it now? You mean this? Yeah, it was bullshit that they didn't let us look at it before. <laughs> yes. This is a brand new piece of evidence. So perhaps we should examine it in a little more detail. How exactly? Well, you put it up to your face and you look at it. Look at it! No, come on. You'll notice that some pieces of evidence bear a magnifying glass. These are the ones you may examine. Uh... Press space. And you can take a closer look at the piece in question. Use up, left, down, right. Ooh, okay, we can turn things. Use up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, be a start. <laughs> to rotate the evidence in all directions and examine it from all angles. By using W-A-S-D. Was. Can you just pronounce WASDA? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, look at Ooh, who's doing it? You can move the crosshairs around to hunt for clues that may have been missed before. If the crosshairs start to pulsate... Oh, well, you know what's happening. Press space to investigate further. So, partner, I think you should take a closer look at this medical report card. See if there isn't something new to be learnt by examining it in more detail. Yeah, there's there's a little bit too much tutorializing, but I get it. I still, I still can't do it. We have to talk for a little bit more before they'll let me do it. Uh, All right, I'll see what I can do. I need to use those buttons to inspect <laughs> any areas of the evidence that look suspicious. Wait, okay, is it doing... Oh, it's now. Medical report card required for every visit. Mr. John Wilson. Oh, uh, whoa. That's cute. Cool. Uh, Dark Angel Lodge another 100 bits. Press space to see the final frontier. Very good. <laughs> it says, Hotter Clinic on this medical report card. I hate clinics. Almost as much as I hate hospitals and surgeries. And courtrooms. And sand. It's coarse and rough, and it gets God everywhere. It. God damn it. Aren't they all the same? When I was five, I caught the only cold I've ever had in my life. And I remember, even though I felt awful already, I had to have this hideous injection in my right arm. Oh, Rienoski's an anti-vaxxer. Burr. I was about to say that. God damn it. Rienoski, go burr. Injection, go burr. <laughs> I'll never forget it. I'll, I'll never forget it. Never in my whole life. Most people would most give their... Peop... Oh, fuck. Most people would give their right arm to have only had one cold in their life. Anyway, I don't think this is a clinic where they treat people for illnesses like that. Oh, no. Let's keep looking for clues. We don't want to miss anything. Uh, well, we're going to flip. Flip Arunski. Dentist. No, wait. Is it... Well, okay, let's look at the thing out here. 
Looks like this medical report card was first issued quite some time ago. It's probably a record of long-term treatment, that's why. With a family doctor, I imagine. Well, I can't imagine. Well, I can't imagine. Going to a doctor, I mean. I fucking hate those guys. As long as I'm alive, I'm and never consulting one. Jesus. He's 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 an anti-vaxxer and he's a he's a holistic medicine guy. Gee, yeah, he really hates medicine. Well, if you were dead, there'd be no point. So, you don't like doctors then? Why would you? They make you drink horrible tasting medicine, they give you painful injections, and then they demand lots of money for you for the privilege. All when you're at your lowest Damn. ebb. You know what? Damn. Ryanosuke's uh, uh, calling out the American healthcare system real hard right yeah, now. <laughs> really? You sound like a model patient. With a bad case of stubbornness, no less. For which the only cure is very bitter medicine indeed. <laughs> you got oh, that shit. achievement. Oh. Whoa! Ooh, it opened! Whoa. Let's have a look. This is some kind of medical history. It seems that he had bulletitis. <laughs> a gun a gun was going to shoot from inside and kill him at any time. <laughs> ah, and there's an entry for the day the professor was killed. Extraction of molar with topical anesthesia. Extraction of molar? You mean he had a tooth taken out? And then was shot with it. <laughs> it would seem so. Just before, the, just before the incident, he'd had a bad tooth removed. Perhaps they used laughing gas. That's the most modern practice in the West for pain relief. Yes, I've heard of this anesthesia. Though it's hard to believe there's anything that can actually stop you feeling pain. Ah, there's a cautionary note from the medical practitioner as well. Don't eat steaks. Strictly no food or drink besides water for three hours post-procedure until anesthetic effects have passed. Oh, fuck. We got him, folks. We got really? Him. Sounds like information worth bearing in mind. You fucking think? Damn. With this new information... The meaning of that one particular statement totally changes. So, I think it's time we listen to the testimony again, don't you? Definitely. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, skip this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Furthermore, promises there was. Uh huh. That could be it. It's Danny by himself. Uh, okay. Yeah. This is what there. has to be it, right? Let's do it. Pre yeah, prevented him from eating. Oh, nope. Okay, sorry. Prison I, I don't like that it has the... Li the, the buttons are so tiny yes. in the corner. <laughs> um, um, That's still so good. Well, I think... Um, about what are you wittering, lad? Call yourself a lawyer? I wish I could, but first and foremost here, I'm the accused. Ryunosuke, everyone stumbles on their words occasionally. Under the circumstances, I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks, Kazuma. I could see it quite clearly in that cross-examination you just carried out. When you raised your hand straight up like that, so purposefully, you knew exactly what it was you wanted to say. Uh. Don't feel like you have to choose your words carefully. Just say what you're thinking. I love you! I mean... <laughs> what? All right. And thanks for the advice. <clears throat> Ooh, I like that animation too. <sighs> Korakuta-san. This is a medical report card belonging to the victim. I see, and I don't see. What of it, boy? Comparing what is written on this report card with your witness statement. Fuck. Something <laughs> clearly doesn't add up. 
Dear me, dear me. Have you forgotten my words so soon, you amateur? Sorry, what? You are not to interrupt court proceedings with your amateurish drivel. But... Let's see if I can explain it in words you might understand. It was after 2 p.m. in the afternoon when the victim was murdered at the restaurant. Whatever he may or may not have done before that time is completely irrelevant. Uh, but... but that's... um... Remember, Rianosuke, you don't have to use clever language or fancy words. Fuck you! Just, just make your point. Yeah. Fuck you, you piece of shit! Your Excellency, I believe we're finished here. There is surely no need to prolong this trial further. Mm. The witness testimonies the court has heard have been clear and concise. This medical report card has no bearing on the matter at all, for the simple reason that there is no one else besides this pale-faced pupil who... This... possibly perpetrated the crime. This medical That's report it. card has nothing to do with the case? Do you, you really believe that? shit. What? That outburst half petrified me, boy. Also, he did slam the desk there, actually. Of course I believe it. How could it... Possibly be relevant. Perhaps because Hata Clinic, which issued the report card, is a dental clinic. A dental clinic? Is that supposed to mean something to me? It means you should see one, you nasty fuck. Perhaps <laughs> if I told you that the victim had just had a tooth extracted. Fuck, he's, he's upgrading from Ryan. Yeah. Watch this now. <laughs> Red Balloon in the chat says, he's a switch now, boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and furthermore, if I told you that as a result, the victim had been forbidden from eating. Just, just what are you trying to say, cadet? He had orders not to eat? So what? It's all written up here. No food or drink other than water for three hours post-procedure while anesthesia wears off. What? No, that, that can't... Korakuta-san. What, boy, what? As you just heard, when he was killed sometime shortly after 2 p.m., the victim couldn't have been eating anything at all. No. Additionally... There's more? You have assured the court with unwavering self-confidence that the victim was dining alone. But that cannot possibly be the case. <laughs> because the victim, as we now know, had just had one of his teeth extracted, and thus was still experiencing the effects of, an of the anesthetic. Expertly done, partner. The fact that the baby got surprised too is really good. What is this nonsense, you little upstart? These are baseless accusations. Uh, just. Just look at this! Look at this photographic evidence! You can clearly see the plate of food at the victim's Objection. table! Use your head. That's the very discrepancy we're talking about. Can't you follow the logic? How, how dare you! I think it's fair to say that the tables in this restaurant case have turned. Ooh. Yeah. Um, wouldn't you agree, Rianosuke? Hmm? I don't I don't get it. Yes, most definitely. So having just undergone some dental surgery, the victim was unable to eat. Which leaves one very crucial conundrum. 
who, in fact, was eating the pictured beef steak. The court will now hear the opinion of the defense of this new puzzle. I assume you're ready, counsel? No. Counsel? Oh, that, that means me, doesn't it? All right. The answer to this question is going to be pivotal. This is the start of you turning this trial around. Show them what you're made of. Got it. So, um... The person eating the steak at the victim's table must have been... Me. <laughs> That's really good. I popped down at his table, ordered myself a steak, <laughs> threw it on his tab, and started chowing down. And then Me. shot him. And then I shot him, so no one had to pay. God damn. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's the it's it's the third party, third right? Party. Yes. Obviously, it can only be in so it could only have been someone else who was sitting at the professor's Attention! table. You will not let this go, will you? There was no such person. Yes, I won't. There was, because I saw her. When the incident occurred, we know that the victim couldn't have been eating anything. Yet we have evidence of a half-eaten steak on his table. Therefore, the only logical conclusion is that there was somebody else there eating it. Or maybe he just ignored his doctor's advice and tried to eat steak with a fucking numb mouth like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, he's like, um, uh, steak is delicious. I can't feel my teeth, but I want to <laughs> eat the steak so bad. <laughs> we have strong evidence to support our assertion. It's clear that these witness testimonies are unreliable. If the court decides to push through a ruling at this stage, I'll kill you. <laughs> we will lodge a formal complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fair trial, relentlessly. Kazuma. Are you insane? You, you would take on the government? Don't worry, counsel. I have no issue with you. What do you mean? I have issue with them. Those two witnesses in the stand. Why? What are you talking about? We have demonstrated with evidence that the victim was not alone. So, if it now turns out that you two have deliberately lied when giving your testimonies, obviously you will be charged with perjury. Perjury! And, since this is a murder trial, you will also be deemed complicit in the killing. Complicit in murder? No! <laughs> Negative! There, there was no mention of this at the tactical meeting! I was just following orders. That's right, as the man says. Just say you never saw the gentlewoman. That's what they uh, uh, told us. Fucking got him. Oh. What? Uh, uh... What did you just say, Kuraguta-san? Oh, uh, no. I'll hide behind my what bong. Are you, what are you what are you doing <laughs> back there, Kurekta-san? You were just following orders. Now hold on, lad. I was uh, um Say you never saw the gentlewoman. <laughs> when you say gentlewoman, do you mean A lady? Me? <laughs> You saw the victim with a lady from overseas. What? Attention! What, what is the meaning of all this? These witnesses gave false statements? Is this Perjury true, you pair? Everyone. Just one. Just one simple 
Slip of the tongue! Order! Order! Council, explain what is going on here. It's painfully clear now. You tried to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not. The prosecution knows nothing of this. Yeah, everyone knows the Payne family are the only prosecutors who don't cheat. <laughs> exactly. Then who's behind this? Who tried to make you keep your mouth shut? Well, um... Aw, he's putting on his mustache. <sighs> That's classified. That's adorable. So you're prepared to be tried as a conspirator to this murder, are you? You... you wouldn't. This can't be happening. Ryunosuke. Judging from the way they're reaching to this, they're reacting to this, I'd say they were sworn to silence by someone with considerable influence. However... I don't believe Auchi had any idea about it. I mean, look at the fucking guy. <laughs> what are you saying? Have you seen him? You really think anyone would give that guy important information? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Logan turned it one dollar saying, it took them going to the early 1900s to actually mention perjury in one of these games. I mean, to wield that kind of influence, there are only a handful of possibilities. It could only have been the government, the military, or well, the police, I suppose. Or Mike Meekins. Oh no! <laughs> Everyone here in Japan knows the fabled power of blood dimension Mike Meekins. <laughs> Using well, warp theory, he went back into the past. <laughs> God damn, Meekins is warp theory. Jesus. Any ideas about who might be behind this? If we can affirm who tried to silence these witnesses, then we can continue our pursuit. So. We need to name, we need to name whoever it was that tried to make the witness keep their mouth shut. Of course, we'll need evidence before we can make any firm accusations. Evidence that proves whoever it was really did wield his or her power here. But how? How can we possibly... Remember how we made progress before? Before? We examined this piece of evidence in more detail and found a new clue as a result. Oh, yes, that's right. Well, that's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? We need to re-examine everything and make sure there's nothing we've missed. There's no time to lose. I want answers. If it's proven that these witnesses have been manipulated, I assure you the penalty will be severe. Please, wait, Your Excellency. I had no idea about any of this. I swear to every Shinto god. I know nothing. And what does the defense have to say about all this? Hmm? Um, well, Your Excellency, uh, time to think. I'm just going to have to close my eyes and shout out the first name that comes to my head. Besides the prosecution, the only person with the necessary influence to manipulate the witnesses is... Uh, can you oh. check the court record? Can you check the court record? We can't. Oh, no. It's just this. Uh, oh, I mean, I actually think it's this guy. I... Fuck, was he actually uh, the villain? We have a professor. That's true, we he's not he's a professor. I mean, there's a the... A waiter. And then just him. Has the prosecution the person with the necessary influence to manipulate the witnesses? Uh the baby. The baby. The baby. He's you could say he's a boss baby. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. Damn, that would be a baby. fucking twist. Go see Boss Baby 2 in your local theaters. <laughs> this no, episode sponsored by Boss Baby 2. This episode's sponsored. This is not been in your theaters baby. for a very long time. I I mean I I would assume it would be this person. Yeah. He's the only I mean, one that would have any... But he's not really in the government. Yeah, that's the thing. We don't have a whole lot of people to choose from. To choose from. from. That I, yeah, that I, I mean, would say would do it. Because the waiter one doesn't... of the witnesses is in the military, but saying he's one of the ones being... Yeah. Yeah, he's the one manipulated. manipulated. So it can't be him. I mean, I'd yeah. want... Yeah! 
Fucking go for it. If worst case scenario, it's wrong, and then we get to check the court record. Yes. There. What do you think of that? Oh, this is wrong. <laughs> I think, Council, that you may want to close your ears as well as your eyes. Otherwise, the size of disappointment in the courtroom may very well deafen you. Uh, uh, check the court record before we have to present something else again. What do we uh, have here that we haven't already examined? Bullet did not pass through the victim's body. Oh wait. Can we like can we like actually examine no, the things and like turn, or some of the some of the other things? Because we also got. That was the same thing uh, we saw before. Oh, look at the back uh, of the business the card. The business card. Business card. Oh, business card. that's that's totally what it is. Yeah. Chief Inspector. Yeah, he's not a fucking yeah. waiter. Oh. He's not, a, he's not a fucking waiter. You Got fucking him. piece of shit. You're a fucking waiter. Get the hell. Why would he write this on the back of it? Oh, my. What a moron. What a dumb. What an absolute not moron. not a fucking waiter. If you feel you must close your eyes in a crisis, might I suggest you keep your mouth shut next time, too. Ouchie, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Otherwise, I may have to use the influence I have in this courtroom to shut it permanently. Uh, Ouchie, you have no influence in this courtroom. I don't know what it is about that prosecutor exactly, but he really makes me wince in pain! <laughs> oh! They did it, folks! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that Look was at the great. plays! Look at the moves! That was really good. I don't have a great deal of influence myself, but believe me, I can find other ways to make you keep your mouth shut as well. I'm sorry! Did you try to kill Why me? Why are you trying to kill me too? Also, is that a another sex thing? No, I think yeah. he's just I think he's just put his hand in a quick draw stance he's going to murder me with that sword. Alright. Don't get angry. I'll think again. There must, there must be, a... be a clue somewhere in all that evidence in the court record. Actually, now that I think about it, there might be some pieces of evidence that I haven't thoroughly examined yet. Oh, yeah, I wonder. And what does the defense have to say about all this, hmm? Um, well, Your Excellency. Uh, no time to think. Okay, same thing. Ah. <sighs> It was the butler. Fucking get it was up. the waiter who's definitely not a waiter. He's definitely a cop. Yes. You have to. Oh, that's why he was an unsworn witness. Oh, I bet you. Because you didn't have to I tell us. You, mm. I bet you he's uh, he's coughing up blood. I bet he got shot. <gasps> oh. I bet he got shot. Well, surely he... that would be Satoru Hosonaga-san. Hosonaga-san? The waiter who took the stand earlier? No, the chief inspector who took the stand earlier. Hobbycock! What possible reason would the waiter have to make these witnesses give false testimony? Not to mention the fact that even a head waiter could not possibly have that level of influence. For once, I would agree with you. If, that is, the man truly were a waiter. Got him. What? If he truly were... Come on, Ryanosuke. Time to hit this court with the truth. The truth about Sotoru Hosonaga-san's real identity as proven by this evidence. No, okay, just present it. Thank you. Yes! Hmm. I'm not sure what this is supposed to prove, Council. I think, Your Excellency, that what this proves is not the true nature of the waiter, about the true nature of the accused. Oh, fuck off, Ouchie. <laughs> Sorry. A blackguard who would stoop to presenting irrelevant evidence to incriminate an innocent man. That is the true nature of this rookie. Oh, wait, what? Try again. Go over all the evidence we have one more time. There's something in there that proves who this waiter really is. I'm sure of it. Uh, all right, then. I'll try. Uh, uh, oh, okay. People in the chat are saying we have to look at it. 
flip it. Oh, and, exa and examine it. And actually, that's, hey y'all, that's aggravating. Well, that's unexpected. What is? Look, do you see it says the witness's name here? Sotoru Hosonaga. Well, yes, but business cards do tend to show a person's name. That's sort of the point. It's not the name that's unexpected. It's his job title. His I want to point out, oh. I said how weird it was that a waiter had a business card. Yeah, you did say that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Chief Inspector Satoru Hosonaga, Primary C Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. Inspector? What on earth? <laughs> I have no idea. But let's face it, the police have a lot of power and influence. If they're wielding it somehow here. Okay. All right. There we go. We yeah, got it. Okay. Fucking wasting. We're, we're, we're with it. We're wasting, with it. Wasting my goddamn time, kid. Okay. I mean, it's, uh, now we can present it, even though it's the same piece of evidence. Yes. Yes. The plan of the restaurant sketched by the man in question. You mean the evidence you just showed us? <laughs> I agree, it shows a great deal of attention to detail, but I'm not sure we can conclude anything from... Sorry, Your Excellency. That's the back of the card. It's the back of the back of the card that's I interest. I beg your pardon? Or, or perhaps I should have said the front? Uh-huh, yeah. Yes! It's for the front or the back of the card! That's what the telling detail is! God damn it, Ryanosuke. Fucking Ryan. Textbook Ryan over here. Would somebody please explain what this overexcited student is trying to say? Hosodaga-san sketched the plan of the restaurant on the reverse side of his business card. The front of that business card reveals the man in question's profession. His true profession. The waiter's profession? But that's surely... Good, good gracious! That's right, Your Excellency. The card reads, Chief Inspector, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. What? The, the waiter is a police detective? I haven't heard any mention of this before. Why haven't I heard any mention of this before? The Imperial Police Bureau has immense power. Absolute power, as far as regular civilians are concerned. So, witness there in the stand. Was it in fact the waiter who gave you your orders? Was it he who told you not to mention that you'd seen this foreign gentlewoman at the scene? Well. Oh shit, oh, he's back. Uh, I Inspector Hosonaga. It's creepy. Everyone's so scared. Yeah. I was worried something like this may happen. And the moment you asked me to submit my sketch as evidence, I realized it was a oh, possibility. Oh, that's why he was freaking out about yeah, it. Yeah, makes total uh -huh. sense. The court will take this plan and add it to the court record as evidence. Oh, um, well... Is there a problem? Hand the plan to the court officer at once. Um, of course. There you are. I do have to laugh because, again, Donson started simping for this character, and this character is turning out to be a bad guy. Yep. Donson's curse. Yes, I remember now. He did act strangely when the judge asked him to hand over his business card. I strive to carry out all investigations flawlessly. It's my guiding principle. But I let myself be distracted when I made the sketch. It was an unusually careless mistake. So, you mean to say you really are a detective? But why would a detective be working as a restaurant waiter? Oh, of course. Your salary must be terrible! I was working undercover. 
That's a great joke. That's very good. Undercover? Yes, there had been a series of incidents at the restaurant recently. In order to investigate, I decided to get a job there as a waiter working undercover. Incidents at the restaurant? What kind of incidents? That would be classified police information, which I am not at liberty to divulge. However, I can state categorically that they are unrelated to that they are unrelated to this case of homicide. Hey, fun fact: I'm gonna bet that they aren't. Hmm. Very well then, Inspector Hosanaga. But you will elaborate on one point for the court. Of course, Your Excellency. We have just heard new information from the two witnesses beside you. That at the time of the shooting, there was in fact another person present at the victim's table. If that is indeed true, clearly you would also have been aware of this person's presence, having served at the table in question. However, your testimony did not allude to this other diner. Therefore, I am led to assume that in your professional capacity as a police officer, you require these witnesses to be in agreement. Would that be correct? <laughs> correct, Your Excellency. Unbelievable! Hmm. As I suspected. So Dark Angel Law cheered 100 bits saying, if they make a joke about Hosanaga's salary, does that mean that he's related to Detective Gumshoe? Uh-huh. I can't imagine. As soon as I heard the gunshot, I ran out of the kitchen to see what had happened. The victim sat slumped in his chair, and beside him, gun in hand, stood the accused student. Sitting opposite the victim at the same table was a young lady, whom I guessed to be an English woman. So the truth comes out. I immediately sealed off the restaurant and reported the incident to the Bureau. It was then that I received some special orders. Special orders? You mean to say? Yes, three double cheeseburgers, four <laughs> large orders of fries, Remove the Englishwoman from the scene at once. It was made clear that the Englishwoman's presence at the restaurant was to be concealed. Those were my orders. But, but what if this Englishwoman was the killer? Oh, yes, she totally did it. I think it would be in everyone's best interests not to... To pursue that idea. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not in my best interests. The Empire views the friendly terms of its relationship with Britain more highly than anything at the moment. An Englishman has been murdered on our soil. To name an Englishwoman as the primary suspect, well, without irrefutable evidence, that would be completely out of the question. So that's the reason for the disappearance of the phantom woman in this case. But it's not right! One possibility does spring to mind. What do you mean, Kazuma? Yume University is currently hosting a number of exchange students from Great Britain. And I'm fairly certain that one of them, studying in the medical facilities, the medical faculty's research laboratory, is a young Englishwoman. What? You're a shrewd man. I can see why you're the chosen candidate for the overseas study tour. <sighs> You mean? When I removed the woman from the scene of the crime, 
I thought it prudent to check her identity first. Then the court demands that you name the lady in question at once, Inspector. The Englishwoman sitting at the university professor's table was a certain Miss Giselle Brett. Giselle Brett? Giselle Brett? It might just be Giselle, also. Yeah, like Miss Jezebel. Oh, oh yeah. that's it. That's it. It's Jezebel, isn't it? Maybe? She is indeed a foreign student studying in the research laboratory of Yume University's medical facility. What is happening here? Damn, he's tall. Mm -hmm. I admit that under orders from the police bureau, I erased all evidence of this lady's presence at the scene and ordered these witnesses to make no mention of her in their testimonies. It must now be up to your excellency to decide how to deal with this situation. Very well. My thoughts on the matter are as follows. Thus far, the case presented to the court has been un underpinned by a particularly critical premise. Namely, that the victim was dining alone. Uh. However, as we have now discovered that this pre as we have now discovered that this premise is false, it would be a discretion, a desecration of our justice system, to ignore the truth and give a ruling at this point. Attention! But, but, your excellency, that would mean missing the noon deadline of a ruling in order to send the telegraphic report to Great Britain. Our own government will surely be very displeased by such actions. Calm yourself, Council. I will not allow the government of our country or any other to influence the proceedings of my courtroom. <laughs> Inspector Hosonaga. Yes, sir. You will locate this Giselle Brett and escort her to the courtroom with the utmost urgency. Once, Your Excellency. But, but that means you'll be going against the special orders you were given from the police bureau. As I said before, it is my guiding principle to carry out all investigations flawlessly. So it won't be a problem. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Nothing will get in my way. Except fatal plot disease. Okay, maybe he's not a bad guy. Johnson, All you're right. off the hook. Okay. Court will adjourn briefly. The prosecution must call the English student Giselle Brett to the witness stand. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Your Excellency! <laughs> Good. Then we will have a 30 minute recess before reconvening. Oh Christ. I think I think that's probably the stopping point for today. Oh, it's 100%. Oh, it's 100%. It's, it's 100% the stopping point for tonight. Uh thought we were going to get through this case. We definitely are. It is Not at all. Longer than I thought. We've been streaming for 3 hours now. Uh But I'm already fucking loving this. Oh, I'm super jazzed. Game is great. Uh have missed the Ace Attorney vibes. Uh, all right, folks. We're going to switch over to Gears for the art stream. We're going to switch over to Gears of War. <laughs> Surprise. It's here. Uh, we've got uh, Abraham Dimitri Von Renoir, the one in black, and Felipe Lopez, yeah, the one in white. Yeah, It's so good. Uh, also, uh, I, forgot about, I forgot about these characters. They're absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Uh, my nickname is oh, it's Bob for apples. Okay, Bob for apples. Thank you so much. We're silly dumb boys. Yeah. Uh, you want to give me some? Uh, uh, yeah. Abraham. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I don't remember what voice I gave him. So I have no him. idea what voice you gave him. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> today I'll kidnap someone. I'll give you. Or today I'll kidnap someone. I'll give you an update later. I didn't kidnap anyone. <laughs> the chat saying that I voiced him. Oh well, fuck. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, well. <laughs> Uh, Abraham uh, just rushing with uh, Edward. Stealing miles in his wheelchair. Uh, oh. <laughs> Give me back my boss back. Give me my boss back. I need my paycheck. <laughs> Fucking. Uh, it's another Monday. <laughs> What's the platypus? It's Miles Edgeworth platypus. Oh, okay. You know. Great. Uh, it's fantastic though. Rose, once again, your art's so good. I love it. We love I'm it. Obsessed. We love it. Uh, <laughs> Neo with uh, Edgeworth on a horse has been received as the best piece of art in the whole county. It's going to state. Wow, that's incredible. Wow. That's incredible. Congratulations, Excellent Neo. Excellent job, low quality fact. You don't need to read that name. Uh, <laughs> also, some Charlotte wearing a Furby shirt. Excellent. Uh, the, <laughs> the new cocktail master on the block. Oh, uh, what's in Jake Marshall's flask? Day 15, the medium mix with Saxy Whistle Snail going missing. I've taken over this with just coconut syrup and some citrus juice in it. Uh, I bet that is delicious. Uh huh. Thank uh -huh. you. Also, I appreciate that it is non alcoholic, but next to it is a wine opener with a cork in it. <laughs> uh, Jay on Mars since there wasn't game plan last week I couldn't come up with something referencing new events instead I decided a picture of my low bro studio setup sorry about the clutter I'm still living out of these boxes <laughs> also I really love that uh, the window shows the Mars background <laughs> that's because really you good. are in fact on Mars <laughs> on Mars uh, hey. that's fantastic thank you Jay on Mars uh, confused koala may I present the boys oh Oh, those are some beautiful boys. It's crack very good. Crack and open a cold one with the, the boys. boys. I love the, the second one is super cute with the, the finger gun heart to the heart. Uh -huh. It's good. It's very good. Koala, thank you. Uh, Don Sun, close up to the thumbnails that we used this week for uh, the, the fan fix and the uh, art videos. Yes. Which, yes, Don Sun, thank you so much for making these. Uh, I do love in the art one, the details of Phoenix having the, the paint stains on his suit is really uh -huh. good. And uh, Miles actually reading evidence law. Reading, evi reading evidence raw. Exactly. That's fantastic. Uh, just just a random idiot. I uh, won't be joining the stream because I want to play Gak as blindly as possible. Uh, but I don't want to disappear. So here's a Francisca I drew the other day. It's rad as shit. That re Again, this, that reminds me of like Steven Universe Francisca. Yeah. Her expression like, is so good. Uh, Donson, I want to create something. So surreal for Dolores, so I created this. A representation of her struggle to forget the influences of her father and her similarities. Kind of just grew into little hints of the trauma she faces in 97 from the broken ring. Reading defense badge, mega trauma, fire in the background, the psych locks, and the bullet through the shoulder. The hand reaching down the face to the prosecutor badge is Manfred, if you were wondering. That's fucking rad. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. Also, I just noticed the the blood from the, the shoulder wound is a shape of a G. Uh... <laughs> God damn! Yeah, the cracked ring is really, really fucking dope. Uh -huh. God damn, Donson, let Dolores have a happy moment. You know, that's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> Nez, I'm back, not for too long. I'm gonna leave for some weeks oh. to go play the game by myself. By the way, don't mind if my art doesn't make it in the YouTube video. It's gonna be. It's listen, Nez. Yeah, Nez. You Nez. can't just. Nez. You can't just make a fucking Nez. Decisive Bobby. evidence. Decisive evidence. What else could possibly be required? There has to be a clue in this enlargement. That uh, enlargement's too large. Too big. <laughs> I believe we have spent enough time talking about evidence. We've heard opinions on every piece of evidence but this enlargement. I see no point in retracing our steps. There is something decidedly strange with this enlargement. What might that be? It's curving it slightly like to the left. It seems like a perfectly fine enlargement to me. Your Honor, I don't know how many enlargements you've seen, but there's something decidedly strange about this one. Mr. Wright, you will show the court what you mean. That's not a mozzarella stick like you thought yesterday. They're using the left hand on the enlargement. You can see the hand working the enlargement. <laughs>
No, I forgot about the mozzarella stick fucking kills me. God damn it. <sighs> All right, hold on. We, we, we got probably got a little yep. ending bit. 20, 12 to 20 inches away. How do you know he was shit? Well, let's just say I have a good frame of reference <laughs> to measure 12 inches. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> so oh, classic. Nez, dog bless, dog what? bless Nez. Uh, uh, also, Nez made this. My shooting kid's card was revoked once because I came and became an adult, so I can't shoot Rose. <laughs> uh, you got the, uh, you got the Rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did this rush? Of, where, where did this rush of energy come from? I haven't slept the past two days. Hey, are you all right? You look like you're losing it. Uh, it's the, are oh, you here to shoot it's, me, it's, Rose? It's, are, you, are you here to shoot me? Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Not that I didn't think about it. Here, I brought you this. The two of us are artists, right? We have to take care of each other. So I thought you may feel better if you ate something. Aww. Kids still like McDonald's, right? <laughs> that's so good. Damn, that's fucking adorable. It's so hell. cute. <laughs> uh, oh shit, more Nez. Uh, chat seems to hate Dr. Hottie. Does this make him any better? Is he cool now? God damn it. <laughs> <sighs> I don't like this make Hottie hot again. No, 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 no. Is no. Hot that's hot happening. Again? no, not a fan, not a fan. <laughs> Uh, God damn it. Uh, the Cravat Thief renamed themselves to me. Uh, I've reworked some of my sprites. Don't have any animations yet since I don't have different poses, but Phoenix Shite Waste Attorney. Uh, the difference is dope. I actually really like kind of the, the chibi art style of the, of the new one. Uh-huh. Yeah. I like, the, I like the bigger eyes. It makes it look it's a lot really cuter. Good. And the expressions are strong. Uh, <laughs> Feral Pay. <laughs> Aw. Very cute eyes on the new one. The stars. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And Scrappy Doo. <laughs> hey, what's up, Scrappy Doo? Uh, they also say they'd like to hear Wes do a Scrappy Doo voice. Oh God! Uh, Give me a puppy uh, power. Yeah, the da -da 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 -da! puppy power. That's pretty good. Okay, I'll take that. That's take what he that. sounds like, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Rose, oh, I've oh, never oh. had a happy <laughs> meal before. Thanks. Oh, it's so cute. Aww. Oh. He's got the little Space Jam toy. I just noticed toy. the Space Jam and the apple slices. <laughs> That's fucking excellent. It's fucking excellent. Oh, my God. Y'all are so too adorable. wholesome. Oh, okay, wait. <laughs> he, here. I heard apples are good for people's health, so I want to share some with you. <laughs> Thanks. Just to let you know, I'm still, I'll still find ways to get you to rest. I'm only trying to look out for you, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super cute. Super cute. Heck yeah. Uh, <laughs> low quality fact with an Emma sketch I'm never going to finish. It's really good. It's already finished. Yeah. It's great. Uh, Neo, you're, you, you're really good with hair. I just want to put that out there. I like the way you do hair. Uh, Sean with a, a set of pins plus the Boo Badger. They're the fucking mad. The Boo Badger. Nobody make fun of the way I said that. Uh, <laughs> Neo with more... Five minutes, Edgeworth. Uh, Edgeworth in five minutes. Go burr. Damn, that's only five minutes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Impressive. You should see my Jesus. five minute Edgeworth. Uh, uh, I don't know if I want to see that. No, you don't. Uh, <laughs> Cravat thief. With, I drew a shitty Maya on a phone. <laughs> Aw, but she cute. You should see my shitty Maya on a phone. Uh, Red balloon ah. with you saved me. Uh, a Narumitsu poem. You saved me. I have my doubts about you. But you saved me, and I asked myself why. Why didn't you turn away? Why couldn't you leave me be? Why did you have to look me in the eyes? Why did you have to see me? To see through me? You showed up unannounced. You turned my world upside down. You dragged my name into the ground. You pushed me to question my sanity. But above all else, even when I tried, even when I failed to push you away, you saved me. That's really good. Yeah, I also really realized good. towards the end there, it's probably supposed to be Edward speaking that. <laughs> uh, character concept designs for Ace Attorney 7, Lana Sky. I thought it'd be epic to have her return as a prosecutor in case two. Sorry for my chicken scratch. No, that's super dope. I actually really like the idea of uh, 
Uh-huh. Lana showing up again, older, hopefully wiser. <laughs> yeah, forty-one Not years old. Evidence. Not forging evidence. Exactly. It's rad. Uh, <laughs> pretty sure this is cursed, right? Yeah. Uh, Great Ace Attorney Chronicle bro- uh, pony characters. Ah, uh, fucking so good. Look at that Herlock Sholmes pony. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's super cute, and I actually really like the uh, the Rinosuke. Yeah, they're both it's, adorable. It's really good. Uh, since I will be able to draw for a bit, I created a concept art for my first OC beforehand. Uh, meet Tim Parole, the out-of-time attorney. Uh, once a detective from the future, he was recruited by an ominous association to defend certain individuals throughout different eras in a, and you guessed it, a time-traveling trailer. Like Phoenix, he has no clue what he's doing, but at least he has an excuse being a former detective. Oh, and he loves investigating. He learns from the descendants of both Emma and Gumshoe, for better or worse. B-B-U-D-I is his virtual assistant that helps him during cases, modeled after the Blue Badger. Buddy. That's good. Uh, His actual assistant is a fave from the Salem Witch Trials. That's fucking cool. (laughs) Look at this goob. I fucking love it. Also, the the Buddy Blue Badger from the future is also cool. What does it say? Blue Badger... User detective interface. Uh huh. That's good. That's really dope. I like I, it a lot. I like this. I like this dude. Yeah. The out of time attorney. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, Red Balloon also did a sketch of uh, a, ske- <laughs> a quick sketch of Rose. A sketch oh, of no. Rose. Sleep now. Sleep now. Oh, no. <laughs> Rose, watch out. Uh, and Rose responds instantly. No needles. I'd rather get shot with a gun than a needle. Oh no! God damn, that's mad cute. Uh, cursed. I was because I'm too way too excited about this. I'm here to present a piece inspired by Zach's comment about the logo, the chunky daddy. As Nathan says, uh, I think this might be my magnum opus. But then again, I'm currently making better pieces at this very moment, so that I could change. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Wow. Yes! This is amazing. Holy shit, all the thumbnails are different things. Yeah, that's a What that's the insane. fuck? This is your Magnum Opus. Damn. Chunky Data Recipes. Uh almost but not quite 69 subscribers. Appreciate that. I love Lo-Fi Blue Badger theme to study relax too. That's incredible. Uh, uh how do I make a t- a YouTube video? <laughs> my face back up and it's just pearl trying to make a video uh fucking fucking come to the wet noodle ad slurp them up good oh Pers- my God. impersonating my these lawyer friend all... gone wrong with the em- emoji thing oh my uh, god these are all so good don't go to gord like at 3 a.m gordy is real <laughs> also, also we got the the Hey, hey, you pals! Today we'll be cooking up a favorite of mine: my chunky, br- my cheesy chunky brunch, guaranteed to fill you up. Whether you're a drop dead gorgeous security guard, a meddling lawyer, a ravenously hungry spirit medium, or a talented and good-hearted prosecutor whom I wholeheartedly love and adore. <laughs> That's excellent. Uh, I love Edward's two comments as well. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that my kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> it's so Damn. good. That is uh, that is impressive. That's also, such a good, good <laughs> looking thing. Emma, Emma, and Cody are fighting in uh, Sky Wars, the, on Sky the Limits. Uh, <laughs> going live stream. <laughs> also, Miles Edgeworth, how to do the objection, dumbass dance. <laughs> it's so fucking good. Just countless jokes in this one. Absolutely incredible. Fuck, uh, insane. You crushed Damn. it. Damn. You, you absolutely a, crushed it. That is a magnum opus right there, if I ever saw one. <laughs> Thank you for this. Salamatoa. Judicature. Judicature. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. <laughs> God damn. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Blue. <laughs> some more. Oh, just married. <laughs> yeah, just life. remember to say I do. <laughs> and uh, Iris. A an character we haven't met yet, but will soon. I'm excited. I assume. Uh, Ace Attorney 7 concept art. The judge that debuts in case two along with Lana Sky. Oh, right. Oh. Masquerade judge. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
I dig the judge. Also the scar above the lip. Interessant. Uh, why are you so mean to Ryan from Rose? Oh, no. Don't make Rose cry. Oh. <laughs> Watching oh, the stream it's, it's, oh, happily. Sorry, it's why, why are you so mean, Ryan? Watching the stream happily. Ryan, fuck you, artist. <laughs> Just take a picture. <laughs> Aww. It's so good. Don't, don't. Don't listen to them, Rose. We want you to keep drawing. Your picture, your drawings are better than pictures. Oh my God, Edgeworth and uh, Miles, <laughs> or sorry, Phoenix and, and Miles is a Clefairy Damn, really and Gengar. Good. Fantastic. That's really good. Love it. Love it. The Bexis. <laughs> More Ryan saying, photos are better than art. Really? <laughs> photos can't help you now, Ryan. Who the fuck is Ryan? <laughs> god damn uh, <laughs> and uh, Charlotte and Francisca finish the heart <laughs> middle finger that's fucking great <laughs> oh shit a sufa yes <laughs> oh, god, that's you my bestie <laughs> that you made him look so fucking cool. I mean, yeah. he already was cool, but damn, I mean, you made him look so fucking Cosmos cool. Cosmos is coolness embodied, damn. coolness in human form. Fucking incredible. I love your art. Uh, <laughs> Dawn Sun, the moment I saw this boy, I began to simp slash declare my favorite character. Now I don't know what happens. God damn. Oh, look, he's just staring off blankly with his tuberculosis. Ah, oh, damn it. God damn. Fucking edit, excellent. don't be evil. There's still a chance. Edit, I'm free. I'm free. Edit, <laughs> fuck. I'm in the villain simp jail again. Shit. <laughs> uh, told you all this Texas slightly altered copy of pasta. It's a mild post kidnapping by Abraham and Felipe. He's wearing the outfit AI generated. Oh God. <laughs> oh, he looks very funny. <laughs> uh, I can't do anything. I'm in a fucking wheelchair. My child keeps biting strangers, I can't reach the prosecution desk, and I can't even stop Maya from stealing my burger. My whole life is, a mis is misery. Misery! It's pointless! Pointless! But on the bright side, at least I have this wheelchair. And the wheels fell off. <laughs> uh, an updated version of the newlyweds. Adorable. Uh, sunglasses, Edgeworth, Law. Oh, no, wait. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. It's, it's Miles. Uh, also, another picture Forget of Rose. It. Rose, you're, cl you're, you're slowly it up. becoming... You're slowly becoming a... A fan favorite. Uh, an, an OC. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest tree. Nobody makes fun of an artist. Also, this is my OC based on the chaotic and happy nature I'm told to have. <laughs> so, Ryan. So, Ryan? <laughs> oh, you got it. No, go for it, go for it, go for it. So, Ryan... You want to talk about it, or do you want to die? <laughs> God <I'm>... damn. <laughs> uh, and Zach, you gave me the idea of taking <laughs> photos of my drawings, so that's what I'm going to do for now. God damn 100 it. 100% better. Like, yep. look at this. It made it look it's look at this better photograph. now. Look at this photograph. It's better now than it's, just the drawing. Yeah, yeah honestly. Uh, shit posting time. <laughs> it's, it's fucking... Welcome to Applebee's. <laughs> Fuck, I can't, what's his name? Hoso, Hosonobe? Hosonaga. Yeah, Hosonaga. <laughs> the true culprit of DL6. Hashtag <laughs> quit Von Karma. He shot a bullet through the blood dimension <laughs> and into Gregory Edgeworth! God damn oh, it. Fuck. Oh, that's what it is. That's God amazing. damn it. Damn. That's, that's a deep cut right Ryan, there. Ryan shot through time, through the blood dimension, and came back out and killed Gregory Edgeworth. Another picture of a drawing of Francisca. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Julie, Miss Bloop-Tarts OC. Again, Ooh, Neo, I like Julie. you're good with hair. What can I say? Especially braids. You kill the braids. Uh -huh. Braid yeah. game strong. You love a good braid. Uh, and, and another picture of Neo. Or of, of uh, Rose. Of Rose. God damn it. Uh, Dilf <laughs> Lockachu Sholmes. God damn it. I'm going to hate reading that every time. Santa cannot watch the stream tonight, though I do have some shit post art to show uh, with the one with the more spoilery one blotched out. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alone on a Tuesday, 
pathetic. <sighs> Kazuma, we have an exam tomorrow. Get out of my dorm room. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, OP, what the fuck does that, does this mean? Decay exists as an extent, as an extant form of life. That's a terrifying that answer. Means. Have a nice day. <laughs> the top right so, one. Oh, what is, uh, that's a Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd. Yeah. Yeah. Seems a downright shame. Shame? <laughs> We're not going to do the whole song. <laughs> Go, white, white boy, boy, go! go. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. No, That's sad really good. British people don't exist in real life. <laughs> <laughs> They're just mythical. Uh, <laughs> Jingle Piketty with another picture yes. of Abraham Dimitri von Renoir, which again is he so good. So good. The fucking uh, feather. It's powerful. They're they're a queer icon, honestly. Seriously. Uh, AI Dungeons and Strikes again. Uh, another kidnapping incident. Julie gives both Phoenix and Miles a pre present, confessing her love for both of them. Present, a torn up piece of paper with the phrase, I love you, written on it. Julie says, I have something I want to give both of you. Let me go put it on. Julie leaves the room. Miles says, I wonder what it is. Julie returns with something in her hands. She hands one each to Phoenix and Miles. Two items are a piece of paper. Phoenix and Miles look to see what it is. On it are the words, I love you. Julie says, this is a, this is a nice token of my love. How thoughtful, says that, Miles. This is so sweet, says Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> that present sucked ass. Hmm. Well, I liked it. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> uh, ah, I tried to color one of my characters. There's only so much I can do via phone. I hope it turned out okay. Vi Vi Vineyard. Vineyard. <laughs> hey, kids, I'm Vineyard. You need some grape yeah. juice. Bada bang, bada boom. <laughs> also, is the tie a bottle of grape juice? I think it is. That's which fucking is fantastic. Excellent. That's powerful. Yeah, that's very. That's it's a very powerful. good tie. Excellent. R. Uh, more worship posting. Oh, it's the meme. <laughs> What's the what fuck the is? Fuck is... <laughs> Use your no, words. I don't speak bottom. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Uh, we've got. <laughs> Charlotte is whoopee in the sister uh -huh. act with no context. Uh, and another character, I don't know who, but it is tagged for Nathan. Nathan, is this you? Uh, well, the real Nathan, please stand up. Rose, press... <laughs> God damn it. Press harder, Ryanosuke. Yep, and we're shipping it hard now. Uh, also, apparently that was Abraham and we fucked up. How could we? How could we fuck up so bad? How could we mess up Abraham? He doesn't have his mustache though. That's so true. That's true. get at me. He doesn't have a mustache. Uh, point on time. What is happening? Uh, <laughs> no. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty fucking good. Don, <laughs> you got got. You got got. And when you got, you got. Uh, Yane, I arrived an hour late because I thought the sh I forgot the stream was tonight. No worries. It's okay. We probably didn't get that much game playing in the first hour. <laughs> <laughs> also, fucking the baby. <laughs> I was like, bitch. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's supposed or to be, I, it was me, or I was me, bitch. Uh, it I'm confused. <laughs> I think, it's supposed to be, it was, I think it's supposed to be it was me, bitch. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> it definitely was the baby confirmed. Uh, Rose with no context. Iconic poly couple. Okay. I iconic. I don't... I mean, um, it's iconic, so you don't need context. Right, Zach? You're right. Uh, also, <laughs> you, know, you draw hair good. Uh, sorry. <laughs> you draw hair good. <laughs> I like your hair. You draw good braids. I like it. Uh, oh, folks, shit. We've done again. it. Which means I need to lock this before somebody else starts posting shit. <laughs> nice try, you fools. Fools. Uh, but folks, hey, we did it. Only three and a half hours. That is going to do it for the very first episode 
of Great Ace Attorney Chronicles with an actual lawyer. Again, thank you all so much for watching. You can watch this live on twitch.tv slash save data team every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, if not, no worries. The VODs will go up normally on Mondays and Tuesdays uh, the following week. But hey, folks, uh, thank you again so much for watching. We're very excited to continue the rest of this game. It's finally happened after so much waiting. A new Ace uh, Attorney game has arrived to the States. We don't have to play so happy. a fan translation. Uh, oh, and just in case I haven't mentioned it, uh, we do have Anytown Ohio merch. So if you missed a bar exam question this week, go to sc.com slash shop slash save data team and check out that sweet, sweet merch. But until next time, court is adjourned. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.